My name is Roderick Shepherd. I do gospel Christian rap for the young kids and to reach the adults. Because if they can rap about the adversary, why not rap about Jesus? Why not get the, the message out to the kids on the level that they can understand, but it be the message given by the Son of Jehovah? I started out first in poetry. I have always uh, been an avid writer since I was in elementary school. I loved to write. And it was not until I was about 16 years old that a guy that had started a band, it's called Little Rick and the Deltones, we all got together and we just started writing and messing around and we started a band. Although I must say back then we were doing secular music. Not dirty, cursing, word music like you find today. But we were doing secular music. We weren't into the church doing the gospel thing or what have you. But most of our music was basically around things that Sly and the Family Stones sing. It's a family affair. And Earth, Wind, and Fire, who always talked about spiritual things and life and how we were to live life. That's what we were basically about. The cops were flying over the house all night long. Man, they were everywhere. Well, let me tell you my story from a child to an adult. Parents, you can raise us or we'll be out in the streets. That's where the devil roam and we will be his priest. For there'll be gang and prostitution and drugs everywhere. Be a parent to the God, raise us if you dare. Parents, you can raise us or we'll be out in the streets. The That's more the God was bringing himself to a reality and telling me what he specifically wanted me to do in my music, the message that he wanted me to, to portray to his people. I thank God that I'm here today because I'm not supposed to be here. I took a bullet wound to the face, innocently at a gas station one night. The bullet came out the side of my head. and The doctors told my mother that it was a 50-50 chance and it was all up to God. And as you can see, 37 years later, I sit here on the back of this truck in an interview to show you the power of God. I walked out of the hospital after 12 days. And although I've had some ups and downs in many battles, especially with my psyche trying to deal with what happened to me those many years ago, I never lost that desire and that gift to want to make a difference in life. I want to be remembered when I leave this earth as being one that came and made a difference in somebody else's life. Ways of God, that there are two roads to eternal life, because we, all those that are here, that have came and are to come, will never die again. We will live forever. The question is, where will we live? There are two roads that the Father has described to us in the Book of Life. One is wide, and that's the road to destruction. The other one is a narrow road and that's the road to eternal life. God had given me a gift, and it's not only something that he has given me, he has given this gift to all mankind. Everybody that walks the face of this earth, including his creation, all the animals and the insects, they are all, we are all purposed for this life. We are also purposed to do the will of his Father in heaven. He came here to give us those instructions. The book is called the Bible. And what does the Bible mean? The letters B-I-B-L-E stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. If we will follow these instructions, we can bring the family back together as it was first created. In my music, what I intend to accomplish is to get a message out to the Father that your children are your seeds. God is holding you totally responsible for what you put on his planet. Come, come.
Mama. Mama.